Hi, what's going on traders? This is Chris from Virgo Trading. In today's video, I'm gonna show you um, an advanced way of managing an order if you're using the platform TWS by Interactive Brokers. So often I get emails from people asking me how to set up bracket orders. So this is going to be a video demonstrating how to use the adjustable stop and scale out profit taker orders. So check it out. I'm going to try and make it nice and simple. This video is not going to be too long. And also, if you want to learn more about me and what we have on the channel, feel free to check out the channel below. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. We've got plenty of videos, trading tutorials, platform tutorials, you name it. Let's get it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you an example of a bracket order that you can configure that will use what's called an adjustable stop. And what will happen here is that you can configure a trigger price for when that price is achieved, it will adjust your stop to a new price. So you can use this to put in a break even stop or simply you know, trail a stop a few ticks in the money when you have a, a winning trade. And at the same time, I'll be demonstrating the scale out target orders and I'll basically show you guys how to configure that into a hotkey in TWS. So I'll show you how I configured that first. I'm gonna to go to the settings of my book trader. I'll go to hotkeys and we can go down to either one of these hotkeys that I created. I'll click on that one. And this is basically what you need to configure in order to get the adjustable stop working. So in this case, I've configured a buy limit order. The limit price is the book trader price because I wanted to place my order and attached orders associated with the price that I click on on the book trader to place the order. So I'm using my mouse to select the price that I wanna click on. So this is all you need to configure here. Then you go to your target order and we're gonna have here in this case, a limit target order. Limit price, I set it to the parent order plus eight ticks in this case. Now we can go on to the scale fields. In this case, what I wanted to do was submit a limit by order of two contracts and then have the two contracts scale out at two separate prices, therefore have two profit targets. So you set the initial component size to one, meaning the size of your initial profit taking order will be one. Then you have to set the size of your subsequent orders. I will set it to one. So that means that my second and third and fourth profit taker orders will all be individual orders of one. And then you have to set your price increment, which is simply the distance between your initial profit taker order and the subsequent ones. So if you have a profit taker order at $2, your next one's gonna be at $2.10, and the next one will be at $2.20, for example, if you have a few contracts in your position. Then we go on to the stop. I've set it to be an adjustable stop in this case. And it is a one-time adjustable stop, and I'll try and show you how that works in this video. So we select the stop price as being relative to our parent order because we want the stop to appear a certain amount away from the price that we've clicked on to place our initial order. So in this case, we set the stop price to parent order minus whatever amount of ticks you want. In this case, I selected 18 ticks. It's just an example. And you do need to put the minus here. It does not know the logic automatically. If you just put 18, it will actually place the stop order above your buy order, which is totally weird and does not make any sense at all. So you do need to put the minus there. Okay, once you adjust your stop offset, you go down to your adjusted stop fields and you need to set your adjustable stop trigger price. In this case, I set it to the parent order plus eight ticks. What this means is that when the market moves eight ticks in my favor after filling my parent order, it will then trigger the adjustable stop to move to the new price that I've configured in the next column right here. So then that would be the adjusted stop price. In this case, I've set it to parent order plus one tick. So that's how the adjustable stop works. And I will try to show you how this works on the book trader, but there's no guarantee that I'll get a trade to show you an example. But I have tested this already a few times and I saw that it worked fine. It also works on the chart trader itself. Okay, so I'll just briefly show you how this is going to be displayed on your screen. And then I'm gonna to proceed to show you how you can configure individual presets for any market that you trade and have it automatically calculate for you uh, how many ticks away orders will be. It actually took me quite a while to figure this out, guys, but I hope it manages to help somebody out there in some way. So the first thing I'll do is just show you how these orders work. So I'll submit a limit buy order. So I've submitted a limit buy order at a lower price of 
in this scenario. We can see that we have a profit taker order as well that has appeared at 159. And um, if we right click on the order itself, which is the profit taker order, and click on view scale progress, you'll see that this is a scale out order here and we can see our first target at 159, second target would be at 169. It's also telling us that it's waiting for the parent order to fill. Okay, now we can go ahead and look at the adjustable stop. So in this scenario, our stop has appeared down here at 133. And if we've added the trigger price column into our quote monitor or into the order columns on the book trader itself, you would see here what your adjustable stop trigger price is. And the way you get this column is by right clicking on your quote monitor, going to customize layout, then going to your order columns, then going to the adjustable stop columns, and then you would find it here and it would be called trigger price. So in this case, the trigger price to move the adjustable stop is at a price of 159. Now, of course, that will only be active after our parent order has filled. So basically, this is what's going to happen. Let's say the market comes down, fills my order, and then moves straight for my first target at 159. My target will most probably fill, and in that instant, this stop will be adjusted from here to here at a price of 152 because I selected parent order plus one tick. That is exactly what's going to happen if you configure your order exactly the way I showed you earlier in the video. And now I'll proceed to show you how it can also work on the chart trader and uh, how you have to configure a certain button for the chart trader that will allow you to use your order preset configuration um, instead of having to set the amount of ticks in your hotkey menu. So this is how you do that. The first thing is, is that you need to have some presets that you configured. In this case, I'll go to File, Global Configuration, and then I'll go to Presets, which is almost near the bottom. And we can set presets for asset classes as well as individual symbols and tickers. So in this case, I'll use Futures as an example. And I click right on Futures, and now everything I configure in this preset here is going to apply to every single Futures contract that I prompt an order for. So in the preset itself, you need to make sure that your target orders are configured at the right offset that you want them to. And you also need to specify if you're going to have scale out orders and adjustable stops in this menu now. So in this case, I've configured an adjustable stop. The initial stop order will be 18 ticks away from the price. The trigger price for the adjustable stop will be 10 ticks above my entry and the adjusted stop price will be two ticks above my entry. So when the market moves 10 ticks in my favor, fills my first target, it will then move my stop to two ticks in the money, okay? And I've applied this to the futures preset, so it will always have an 18 tick stop and a 10 tick target, no matter the symbol I choose, as long as it's a futures contract. Okay, you can also configure individual ticker presets by clicking here, ticker, and then typing in the symbol, okay? But for now, I'll just try it like this. So we'll go to a futures contract. In this case, it'll be micro NASDAQ. Now, I don't even have live data for this right now, but it does not matter. We're going to demonstrate this, and then you're going to test it out on your end to make sure that it works before you live trade any real capital here. So we want to first go to global chart configuration, and then we want to find the chart trader hotkeys. Okay, we need to configure a hotkey that will allow us to default to our order presets that we configured in the presets menu. The way you do that is pretty simple. This is the hotkey I created that will default to those presets. It's simply a buy limit order at the chart trader price that you select. So I'll double click on this hotkey just to show you how it's configured. And if you don't have a hotkey already, you can just create a new one by selecting buy and then creating a brand new shortcut. But it's pretty much the same thing. So I'll click on the existing one that I have over here. I'll double click on it. Now I'll go to customize. And this is how I've customized it. It's a buy order. The size is set to default. The order type is a limit and the limit price is set to the chart trader price, which means the price that I will select on the chart, which is very handy. There's no target associated here and there is no stop associated with this order. That is all you need to configure. Now, when I press that hotkey, which is set to be shift plus the letter B on my chart, I'll press it, now I get the prompt for the chart trader and I have to select the price for the buy limit order. 
So I'll select the price down here. And now we can see that we have our parent order and our target orders. And if we go ahead into our quote board and confirm our stop here is indeed an adjustable stop order. And you can see in this scenario that the trigger price for the adjustable stop is when the market is trading at my first target. Now I'll change symbols and just to show you that it will be doing the same thing no matter what symbol I choose as long as it's a futures contract because we're using the futures preset. So I'll press the same hotkey, select the price, and you can see that it submitted our stop and target along with this order. And the hotkey that I created in this case was just a simple buy limit hotkey. These bracket orders are coming from the preset that I have configured here. So that's how you configure the adjustable stop and scale out profit taker orders in TWS, guys. I know it's not super simple, but if you take your time and review what I showed you in this video, you should be able to get it working on your end. And also, this will be helpful if you need to have individual presets for many tickers at once. So try out the methods I described to you in this video using the order presets as well as using the hotkeys on the book trader or chart trader. If you're only trading a handful of tickers, you can do it that way. But if you're trading many, many symbols, then you might want to try out using the presets. Okay, guys, I wish you all the best and I hope this helped. Take care. Bye.